Okay, so the tutorial for finger stab. If you have not seen the performance, just click on the link on the screen over here. Um, just please watch the performance because if you watch the tutorial first, you won't think um, that this effect is that great. Cause when I first read about it, it didn't seem as powerful. But when I tried it out myself, I'm like, hey, this is a nice visual effect. I think I might actually use this. So please check out the performance first. Okay, now let's get on to the tutorial. So there's not much to this card trick. It's, it's actually pretty simple. You just have to practice a lot um, at the at the catching move at the end. But at, at the beginning, all you do is you have a card selected. Okay, any card. Suppose a seven of clubs. And then you take it and you just lose it in the center. Now when you're putting the, the top part of the deck back on, you're actually going to grab the pinky break right above it. It's not your regular pinky break. It's actually putting a good first bit of your pinky inside of the deck. All right. Still, it's still invisible from from the front edge. Instead of having your smaller pinky break, you actually have your whole front edge. The reason for this is is that you're gonna yank out that selected card so that it's sticking out from the side like that. Okay. Let me just go over that a bit more. So you have your card selected. Jack of Diamonds, you keep your pinky break right above it. Now, your right hand is going to come and keep the deck still. So when you're yanking your, with your pinky, the deck's not moving at all. So you yank with your pinky, you're just going to, you're just kind of sliding down. If you know how to do the, the, um, Leonard Green top shot, it's kind of a similar motion. You're just stripping down at the card, okay? You just yank down at the card, and then right when you do this, you're going to move the pack horizontally so that the spectator cannot see this card sticking out from the back edge. Alright? Um, it's best when you're doing that yanking motion, so card selected. It's best when you're doing this um, pulling motion with the pinky that you have some misdirection, so you kind of make your eye contact with the spectator and kind of talk to them about what's going on. And then do the move, all right, so that it goes more unnoticed. So then you pull it out from the side. So you're you're talking in this direction, and then boom, the move happens. Rotate the pack horizontally, and then the card is sticking out. All right. Now, you don't want it sticking out way too much because then the spectator can see. But you don't want it too little like that because then this move is going to be hard. You want it just perfectly like that. I'm using a bicycle deck of playing cards, so nice way to know is that you could see this the whole design right there. Alright, from when this angel at the top right starts right there. So that's about perfect. The spectator won't be able to see that. And just be careful, you can angle the deck upwards a bit, not have it like straight flat. You can angle it upwards a bit so that it's, it, it just helps it keep a bit more hidden. Now you're going to hold the deck horizontally, just flat in your palm like this. Okay, just nice and flat. And then you do whatever pattern you want. What you're basically doing is you're going to toss it up in the air and you're just going to grab this card out. Okay, it's really simple. But you want to keep the deck flat on your palm and just a light toss. Because if you do it too viciously or violently or whatever, it's going to be hard to catch this. So you just want to do it lightly and catch the card. All right, and then you see it's the selection. So that's how you want to do it. Let me just pick up the cards. Just give me one. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna catch that card from the back edge, basically just grabbing onto it. Now you can tell that this move is not gonna be sure fire because there's gonna be that time where you're not gonna catch it. So you want to make your throw as light as possible so that it's easiest to catch it. And don't worry about catching the deck, it's it's no big deal, you can let it go splat. Just use a bit of an older deck, just in case you don't want your cards to get dirty or anything. So yeah, that's basically the move. You just want to catch that card that's sticking out in the back edge. It's really simple, but you, you want to make everything perfect. So just lightly throw it up, and then when, it's just right when you throw it up, you're you're going to dive in and catch it, because I feel when it's descending, it gets a bit more difficult to catch the card. And, you know, that's just my feel on it. you, you got to play around with this. 
and see where you're comfortable with it. All right, I I'm comfortable catching it right when I toss the deck up. You might be a bit more comfortable when it's descending. It's all on you. All right. Mm. That's basically all I have to say on the move. If you have any questions, just post it in the comments below. You know, just practice this move as much as you can. Because um, you, you don't want to have that time when you're performing and, you know, you miss the card or something. You should be ready to do a different effect if that goes wrong. All right. So that's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.